Alright, in this lesson we're going to change from logarithmic form to exponential form because we know that the inverse of an exponential function was x equals b to the y but we also know that there's an explicit way to write that and that is y equals log base b of x and so we're going to take these logarithmic expression or equations and rewrite them in exponential form and so using using this equivalent equivalence up here we're going to transform these so we have a base which is 5 we have remember y is the exponent so this is the exponent is 2 and x is actually the answer which is considered the argument of the log so we're going to have the base of 5 the exponent of 2 is equal to x. So basically it's going to be base exponent answer. So the next one, the log of 64 base b equals 3. We've got a base of b, we've got an exponent of 3, and we have an answer of 64. Right, let's work our way down here when you have a logarithm when there is no base written in it's implied 10 is implied so when when the base is 10 we don't write it in and this actually has a name it's called a common logarithm or I'll just abbreviate a common log um, called a common log because base is a common is a, a number that's commonly used as a base so when I rewrite this in exponential form, I'll write the 10 in just to stress the fact that there, there is a 10 implied. So 10 is my base, 2 is my exponent, and 100 is my answer. And that makes sense since now we've got all numbers filled in here and no variables that 10 squared does equal 100. The next logarithm is slightly different than the ones you've seen and this is actually what's called a natural log All right, so a natural logarithm has a base of e and e is considered the natural base a logarithm with the base of e is called a natural log it really is the equivalent although we don't write it this way it is the equivalent of the log base b of x equals 2.1 so to translate this to exponential form, it would be e is my base, 2.1 is the exponent, and x is the answer. Okay. Right, let's do one more down here. We've got 1 equals the log base 5 of 5. And, so, and this is actually uh, represents a property that we're going to look at in a, in a future lesson what we're saying here is that the base is 5, the exponent is 1, and the answer is 5. 5 to the 1 equals 5. And what you'll see soon is that when the base of a log and the argument of the log, and so this is called the argument, again, this number right here, when those are the same, the answer is always going to be 1, and we'll look at that when we look at properties.